So welcome to another early morning Burn Peak Express. Sorry if I'm groggy, still waking up. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna review some grips. We're gonna start by unboxing them and taking a look at them, and then we're gonna move out to the trails and see how they actually work. So these are basically the cheapest bicycle grips that you can find on Amazon, shipped to your door, $3.99. And there's, yeah, plenty of Chinese writing on here. You can see they have the little rubber ends. They just slide onto the handlebars. And I gotta be honest, they don't look half bad. Now here are the cheapest set of lock-on grips that you can get on Amazon. I'll tell you what they cost in a second. When these were available, I paid $4.86 for them. They are black lock-on grips with metal bar ends. But these look almost too good to be true. Then we have $90 grips. You are not gonna find these grips for cheaper. These were on a reputable website and it, they had good reviews. You know you're in trouble when there's a picture of like the cross section of the grip on the box. Our patented shock absorbing system suspends your grip completely eliminating contact with the handlebar. And on the diagram here, it shows that the grip is indeed a little bit larger than the handlebar and it's sort of suspended between it. So let's see what the quality of the materials here is about, okay, so we have all of our parts here. And there's, there's a lot of them. I'm actually a little bit intimidated by what I'm gonna have to do to assemble these. We have a sticker. That's always a plus. That's a nice addition. They include some instructions. This is gonna be a project. I gotta say, the packaging is really good. It better be for 90 bucks. It better be the best packaging ever. Really nice locking mechanisms. And then we have the grips. Wow, these are really nice bar ends. The construction and build quality and fit and finish of the grip is absolutely perfect, but I don't think we were expecting anything less for $90. It should be. So before we review any of these grips, I wanna show you guys just a normal set of grips. Everybody recognizes a set of ODI lock-on grips as reputable, quality, and a good price. They have really good bar ends that are, that are stuck on. They've got a good rubber compound, they lock into place. So we can use these for comparison. We're not gonna be reviewing them today because this is what I normally run. Lastly, we have a potato. Now I'm not just trying to be funny or ironic. I'm actually gonna demonstrate something with this potato. This is the end of your handlebar without a bar end, all right? That's what happens to your body if you don't have a bar end. Now if you have a bar end on there, I'm gonna use equal force. Yeah, you're gonna get a bruise on the end. If you don't have a bar end, you're gonna get core sampled every single time. So bar ends are really, 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 really important. All right, now we gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna get these out. I've actually, I've got an idea for that. Uh, let's see. All right, so first let's remove my box ODI grips. Loosen the clamp, pull it off. Now these grips, it's just rubber, so you can try to force it on, but what I find is if you push from the end, it sort of gives you like a slinky effect where it sort of makes the grip wider as you compress it and give it the ability to just push right on the handlebar. But normally you get to a certain point and it won't push on anymore. It's just too gripped on the handlebar. Now these ones, it appears we can just kind of twist and force on. That's not good. You don't want a grip that's gonna move, and the, the kind of softer, gummier grips like this, you can't just get them on like this, and I'm gonna show you how a lot of people do get them on. I'm gonna show you two ways, actually. The first way is with an air compressor. You can go in through the end here, you can go over here, you shoot some air in, and you can very easily push the grip right to the end. I'm gonna clean the handlebar a little bit with a paper towel, not a rag, because I don't want to get any sort of contaminants on it. So what you do is, you get a little bit of rubbing alcohol inside the grip, not too much, and the grip simply slides on. You can sort of twist it, mess with it, and in not too much time, the rubbing alcohol will evaporate and your grip is good to go. All right, now that these are on a bike, let's do the potato test. Okay. Kind of what we expected. All right, so here we are on top of the flight deck. To test these grips, I'm gonna do the same line each time. As you can imagine, it's been raining lately. So we have wet wood, we have some slick roots, and uh, I'm gonna be holding on for dear life on these $3 grips. Here goes, cheap grips.
All right, so they held strong. They, I had plenty of grip, but if you look here, even after that one relatively not that technical run, they're already sort of twisting. That's not good, but for a kid's bike, a cruiser, they're probably fine for $3.99, but I wouldn't put them on a high performance mountain bike. I did quite a few runs with these before and they kind of hurt. It's almost like sandpaper because the rubber is so hard. So I would say you might just want more comfortable grips and just spend like an extra dollar. For less than a cup of coffee in the morning, you can just have grips that feel better for months and months and months. So what do you expect for $3? So let's take these off and let's put on the cheap lock-ons. So as a reminder, these ones were under $5. They appear to be not bad. Let's do the potato test. Yeah, they seem to be pretty safe. They fit a little tight. That's okay. Now, you can see you can push them further than the handlebar if you want to, whereas these ODI lock-on grips, they have a hard stop at the end. You can't push them any further. So, we're gonna line them up with the end of the handlebar. That's where our grip's gonna be, so I'm just gonna tighten them on. You know what's hilarious about these bar ends is that it actually displays the torque rating. One in 1 1.5 uh, Newton meters of torque. That's a really nice touch. Zito grip number two. I'm so impressed that they come with like machined aluminum. It is not easy to get these in actually. They feel really good. I'm not gonna lie. These aren't even a dollar more than our cheapo grips. And phew, I'm gonna stop short of recommending these until I take a trip down the trail. So here we are once again at the top of the flight deck and we're about to drop in with our, as far as I'm concerned, best value grips. They're lock-ons for under $5. Let's see how they go. <laughs> Not bad. They feel good, they really do. They didn't move at all. There's no visible wear on the grips. Um, they're impressive for the price. One thing I will note about these grips in the first run, they have these ribs across the grip. And actually I have a set of Deity grips on my Dirt Jumper which also have ribs, but the ones in the Deity grips are at a much higher frequency. When you squeeze the grip, it gives you a more sure grip. With this, my hand is like almost moving to one side as the ribs flop over, which is kind of weird. Again, not something you can really complain about for a sub $5 grip, but it is notable. Like they're not ideal grips. This looks really complicated. I'm gonna have to get a little more of this. Do this iced. I wanna drink it right now and not burn my tongue. And... All right, let's figure out how to install these grips. Oh my goodness. What the frig is this? So it looks as though we just kind of tear these off of here or cut these off of here. I assume they gave us extra. We'll cut a bunch of these and put them aside. I have got to show this to Pat. Please read entire document before installation. You know what? I'm going to do that. Check clamp screws before each ride. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be useless information. Okay. The grip will feel softer in all directions as tuning washers are installed. Firm, zero tuning washers. Medium firm, one on each side. So the more of these nylon rings you add to the grip, the softer the grip feels. Oh, I see. That goes over it to hold everything in place. Gotcha. It is very, very hard to get these on. I don't know how I did it on the other side. This is like the cush core of grips. Oh, I'm glad I remembered to put in the tuning washer. Could you imagine if we did all that and forgot the tuning washer? I can't believe I just used the word tuning washer. I need another tuning washer. I think I can get another second out of that run. Let's use the, uh, the included wrenches. <gasps> oh, no. There we go. Okay, very carefully. Very carefully. 
It does slide on remarkably smooth. We'll tighten the bar end first so that we can push the grip up against it. The bar ends are really nice. You can even see once it's tight, it still moves a little bit because it's rubber holding it in place. And that's a nice touch. These aren't gonna come out. It's like almost a built-in torque limiter. And torque the outer clamp screw to 1.7 Newton meters. They included a wrench. It's not a torque wrench, so obviously they, uh, they assume that you are gonna tighten these down yourself. Let's figure out what that actually feels like with the torque wrench. I have my torque wrench set to 1.7 Newton meters, so I know what 1.7 feels like, because I can't say that I really know what 1.7 feels like, okay. It's firmer than you might think. So we're gonna tighten down the outer clamp first. So we're gonna push it. 1.7 Newton meters of torque. 1.7 Newton meters, not the slightest bit more. Wow, it moves. It really moves, that suspension technology. Whoa, <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if this is a gimmick. We're gonna put these on the bike before we put the screws in. <sighs> you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. God, these suck. Oh, it's gonna be really hard for me not to hate these. Let the heat flow. I'm gonna have to like take a sip of coffee before I ride and like let the pain and suffering of this installation subside. I'm sure over tightening this affects the suspension technology in some way. So as soon as you start feeling that Allen key flex, it's at 1.7. That is bizarre. So it moves, it's very consistent and smooth. It's not like it's creaking and grinding and stuff. They obviously put a lot of time and thought into it. It also, it looks expensive, you know, like the end. I can't wait to take these out on the trail and see what the hell they're all about. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if these are as safe as some of the other grips. Like, uh, to me, the pinnacle of safety would be this, the end on the ODI grips, this smooth plastic that goes all the way to the edge. This looks like if it really hits you, it would hurt more than the end of the ODI grip. Okay, first lap on the rev grips. Verdict's out on these. I like them. I don't want to take them off just yet. Hey, look who decided to show up. So, grip that. That's pretty impressive. You see how when you move it back and forth? Why does it wiggle? Is it meant to do that? Yeah, there, there are tuning washers in there. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me there's tuning washers for the grips? <laughs> these took me like 45 minutes to install. It's like they purposely gave you whiskey grip. I'm not gonna lie, they feel really good. What? Um, what I'll t I'm not gonna tell you what they cost until you take a run. I'm gonna get my helmet. Get, yeah, definitely get your helmet. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I can go with these <laughs> because I've been having this wrist problem, and now there's like a jiggle where I can't just like lock in place. What it is is it doesn't let me get seated. Do these have good reviews? Is there any free riders using these? Or are they like, you know, like Dennis and stuff? I don't think so, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird for the grip to move though. Yeah. Ooh, look, look, see, this is the problem. Okay, so these are carbon bars, right? Right. And it's tight enough for you. I like death grip them sometimes. And like, this is moving plus that. And like, what is, what is Oh, the whole thing's moving. Oh, it came loose? I thought I tightened it down enough. So these whole grips came apart. I really, I tightened those down pretty good. I mean, you were really gripping them and trying to turn them. Just not really. Really? Okay. Like I would be I would be that rough with my regular bike. Like like I wasn't doing anything. Oh look at that. I just broke it. I was like, something's weird over here. This feel of the cabin test just miserably. <laughs> but honestly, what are you gonna do on a downhill run? So I have another grip for you to try real quick. Let's go in the garage. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is the average Joe gonna not mess up this installation? What happened to Kevin, if that happened on a downhill run, you could die. Even if you had a shop, you know, with like really meticulous bike mechanics install this, how am I gonna recommend these? They do feel pretty good, but like, they're not safe, man. That's not safe. What about the actual grip, though? Just the rubber part, all the rest it's of the good. components. I'd I like that part. I'd say it's, it's pretty good. It better be good. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna try these. So we got Kevin's slope style bike here. So we're gonna take his death grips off and we're gonna put these on and see how they work. As you can see, these are pretty sweet. We've got these metal bar ends and everything. And These are definitely more my style. When I first started riding BMX, this is the grip style I had all the time was this. These feel better, they feel locked in place. On these, like when you grab a hold of that, it still has some give in it because it's so thick. Right. I don't need any extra. And I've never ridden this bike here, so I'm actually kind of scared now. But. Oh, give it a shot. See how they go. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. <laughs> go fast, don't crash. Oh. Yeah, dude, even, <laughs> even on slick tires in one break, it was way more comfortable with these grips because they weren't moving. I'm pro these grips, anti the other grips. I'm not sure how much these grips were. How much Below do you think? $5 ship. Oh man, the other ones are how much? $89. That's wild. This is These are less than five bucks and I would use these any day of the week over the, the $90 ones. Sweet, does this mean I got new grips now? Yeah, you want those grips? <laughs> have them. <laughs> Let's go through each grip and I'll give you my thoughts. So the cheap ones, these are not worth buying. They're really hard, they're really brittle, they're difficult to install. And the fact of the matter is for a tiny, tiny bit more, you could have the grips that are now on Kevin's bike, which are below $5 shipped, and they, we all agree they feel great. So to me, it's, it's not that these are bad for the price, it's that you do so much better for under a dollar more. Those are the grips to get. They are hands down the best value. The Zitos, they should be called the hands down because those are hands down the best grips you can get for $5. As for these guys, are they good? Are they well thought out? I don't know, it's hard to tell. They did have a pretty good feeling. If you're just riding some light XE or something and you want a little more active suspension technology or whatever, yeah, be my guess if you got money to burn. I torqued these down, I put them back together. Maybe I didn't have them tight enough. I don't know, they don't seem like, like even if you were really violent with them, they don't seem like they would come apart. So let's chalk that up to an installation error. I really wanna give them the benefit of the doubt, but the fact of the matter is, if a normal set of tried and true lock-on grips come a little bit loose during your downhill race run, you go and you pull off to the side and you tighten them. With these, they start disassembling themselves. Parts of the grip start coming out and that's terrifying. I'm gonna put my ODI grips back on. Uh, I'm sorry, it just, it, that scared me a little bit too much. All right, today is four days later, and of course, it's five o'clock in the morning. Last night, we posted this video on Patreon and got a lot of feedback from people who have the rev grips. Now, I went back to the installation instructions, and they seem really, really concerned with making sure those clamps are tight. They even said you should put some friction paste in there. The company seems to be aware that if all of this isn't really pressed together, you're gonna have problems. I also got a lot of feedback from patrons that just makes me intrigued enough to give these another try. They really help with fatigue when you have to deal with braking bumps. I run rev grips also to help with arm pump. I switched from fat paws due to my hands going numb and they have helped. You will have to pry them from my cold dead hands. I finally gave in to the crazy price of the rev grips and I'm completely happy with them. I bought and still use the rev grip. I have run the rev grips for eight months now. Who am I to jump the conclusions? I think these deserve a long-term review. So I'm gonna keep the rev grips on my hardtail and I'm gonna take it to Sedona next week. I'm gonna ride them there on some pretty gnarly stuff and then I'm gonna take them back here and continue to ride them and give you my long-term opinion. But for now, my opinion is they feel really good, but they're complex and there's a lot that can go wrong and that scares me a little bit. So time will tell. All right, jump back to four days ago. Let me know in the comments, did you think I was fair to the rev grips? Did I give them enough of the benefit of the doubt? And which grips would you buy? If you haven't noticed, this isn't the normal Seth's Bike Hacks channel. This is Burn Peak Express. This is our second channel. We do content like this. So if you liked it, make sure you subscribe and thanks for riding with us today. I'll see you next time. We're gonna need a thumbnail. Just thumbnail perfection. Oh. <laughs> Give me that grip. Give me that grip. Get that. Get it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>